Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at 25 reasons to collect Space Marines. I've recently started collecting Space Marines and Necrons, and I've got to say, I've really enjoyed the whole process so far, learning about the lore, the different models, and how to play Warhammer 40,000. So I thought it would be cool to go through a video where we look at 25 reasons to collect Space Marines. There are so many awesome factions to collect in Warhammer 40,000, but as a new player, I found it really easy to get started with the Space Marines, and in particular, the Ultra Marines. So I thought I'd share the reasons why I think this is a good place to start, and I hope this can help you decide whether or not this is an army you'd like to add to your collection. Right, let's get started with number one, and that's the Imperium magazine. And I recently subscribed to this, and it's coming up for subscription in the US now, which is awesome news. And I've done loads of videos on this on the channel already. And all the models included in this subscription are Necrons and Space Marines. So for beginners, I think this is a great place to start. You learn a little bit of lore, some new rules, and get new miniatures or paints each week and so it's a great way to build up the collection and lure the game slowly. And so because this focuses on the Space Marines or the Ultra Marines in particular and the Necrons, you're just going to get tons of information and a really great place to start. Reason number two is because of the box sets that feature them and any new sets will mostly have Space Marines or Ultra Marines featured. You can see all the artwork on these three most recent ones are all designed around the Ultra Marines. And you can even get these collect books. Here's the Recruit Edition. You can get smaller sets like the Elite Edition as well. And also this one here, the Command Edition. And these are all designed with the Ultra Marines in mind. Reason number three is that these are the poster boys for Warhammer 40,000. So you're never going to be short of lore, news, new models, features, updates, everything that is going to come out for Warhammer 40,000 is pretty much going to include the Space Marines. Reason number four is a really good one if you like to collect. You're going to get lots of models. And on the Games Workshop website, there's over 111 different sets to choose from. And these are updated frequently. So there's just tons of models, pages and pages to choose from, all different types. So if you're interested in building a nice collection and you want lots of variety, then I think the Space Marines are going to be a great way to go. I mean, I'm just looking at the Ultra Marines here and you can just see there's just so many different models here of all different types. And these different models are going to bring about a huge amount of lore. They're going to be featured in the core books and they're going to bring a vast narrative. So individual models are going to play a big part in the lore of the game. So yeah, this is a great one. Number four, I think, is a big one for me. There's just a huge amount to choose from. Reason number five is the updated codexes. Now, Warhammer 40,000 has so many books uh, out there that you pick up to play the game, but I think it can also be a bonus playing the Space Marines because these books will be updated as a priority. So some of the other factions wait a long time for the updated codexes, but you can be assured that the Space Marines will be first in the queue. Reason number six is that they are iconic. They really are a main feature of the Warhammer 40,000 universe. And if you've been like following Warhammer for a while, you'll always know about the Space Marines. So they really are iconic. And I think that's got some appeal. And because of the previous reasons, I think we can be confident that they will be supported in the future. And that's going to lead us on to number eight, where we're going to get lots of special characters. And these special characters are going to come about based on the lore of the game, which will also influence number nine, where we get lots of exclusive miniatures. So very often these exclusive miniatures are going to be Space Marines. And while this can be a bit repetitive for some, maybe a bit boring, I still think if you're really into it and you like the particular exclusive characters, and then you can relate that to the books and the lore, then I think that's got some appeal too. Number 10 is a great reason to pick any army, and really it is the rule of cool. So if they look awesome, then I think you're really going to enjoy collecting them, painting them and playing them. And if you enjoy the lore as well, then everything else that follows is just going to be great fun. I remember seeing these maybe 20 or more years ago and thinking they just looked so great and I'd love to have a big army of them. Um, but I never got into it. And since I've recently 
been playing through the Imperium magazine, I've really enjoyed the way it's put across in the playthrough. So if they look good, you like the lore, and they're fun to play, I don't think you can go wrong. Now we're on to number 11, and with the Space Marines, you've got many chapters to choose from, and here's a few here. You can even create your own chapter, which is great. I'm focusing on the Space Marines, but some of these look awesome. The Space Wolves are incredible, the White Scars look great, and I think they each come with different ways you can play. You can also mix some of the chapters together with some special rules as well, so that's really fun. And I just like the idea of having lots of different units maybe. Certainly for Kill Team, it'd be great to try and create a Kill Team from each of the main chapters. I think that'd be a great way to go. But I think the Space Marines have got lots of different directions you can go in with them, and that's really appealing. Reason number 12 could be good and bad, because lots of people collect them. I think this is good because they're going to be easy to learn from other players. You can pick up tips by watching them play. And I think there's just so much information on the internet from people who've got the different armies and play the different tactics, even down to how you paint them. So I think having lots of people collect them is great. It also means that you're going to get lots more content because lots of people collect them. So yeah, there's lots of good things and also lots of negatives too. We just covered it really quickly, but you do get lots of painting guides. So reason number 13, I think is a good one because you could even pick up these starter sets, which include the paints and instructions on how to get going. And of course, the Imperium magazine includes some great painting guides. And all this makes them quite easy to learn. So comparing it to other factions, I think there's a lot of information and a lot of knowledge out there that you can use. With so many options regarding the models, you don't need a huge number of models per army. And that's quite appealing, especially if you're new, you don't want to spend too much and you want to get them painted quickly. So reason number 16, the Space Marines can actually work out quite cheap to get started. And not just because you need a small army, but also because of what we discussed earlier, how they're included in a lot of the starter sets. And the starter sets are usually excellent value. All these different models are going to give you lots of different ways to play them and also with the different chapters you can choose different uh, ways to play as well so you can be fast you can choose the strong units or you can be really aggressive or a combination of all so you've got lots of different ways to go so this makes them really flexible and gives you lots of tactics that you can employ on the battlefield now we're on to 19 and because they're so good at shooting and close combat you can play them in all the phases and do really well whichever you choose. And this is great fun because you can get involved in close combat. You've got the psychic phase as well, so you can have psychers in there and also shooting as well. So you can really choose different units for each phase or just focus on one of them and put most of your effort into that. Now we're on to Reason 20, and I just think they're really fun to collect. And mostly because there's so many models, and we have covered this, but there's so many to look through. Let's have a look at all the different ones as we flip through here. So with like 111 or more different sets that you can buy, you're just going to be spoiled for choice. Now this could be quite off-putting, perhaps having this overwhelming amount of models to choose from, but I think that's where the starter sets come into play and why they're so appealing. And also the Imperium magazine. With the starter sets, you're going to get a decent army and you're going to get a decent army for an opponent as well. So the starter sets being good value, it's a great way to get started. There is going to be some investment at the beginning, you know, if you want to pick up the Space Marines Codex and then the Ultramarine supplement to that Codex, all of a sudden you get starting to get a nice pile of books going on. Um, but again, this is why I think the Imperium is good. The Imperium magazine gives you a little bit each week and you build the collection up slowly, learning a little bit at a time. So that's really fun. And it also structures the models along with the playthroughs. So you can start learning all these different phases with the models that are included in each issue. So that's a really strong point. So personally, I really like that there's so many models to choose from and I think it gives you lots to look forward to in the future. Now we're on to Reason 21, and this is all about Dreadnoughts and how awesome they are. And Dreadnoughts are awesome. They're so cool. You've got a load to choose from here. I think they're brilliant, and having these in the army is a real big feature for me. Reason 22 is going to give us some fire support, and you've got some different units to choose from here. I must say, these aren't the biggest appeal for me. These would probably be the last on my list, but um, still good. And I think having that option, as well as all the other units, is really great. 
Reason 23 is you've got attack bikes. Now these are great looking vehicles and some great models to choose from. And I think these are really fun if you wanna add some speed in your attacks. And so you can use these in some tactics on your battlefield to really cover ground quickly and engage the enemy. And as well as the bikes, Reason 24 is all about the fast assault vehicles. Now these are pretty great. This model's been out for a long time and this one as well here, but we've got some recent ones for the Primaris Marines and these are really good. So yeah, really great looking models. Now we're on to our final reason, which is number 25. So we've seen all the different units now. We've got like fighters on foot. We've got fast attack vehicles, bikes, some fire support, and now we've got transport and heavy support. Now these are really cool. There's some great models here, loads to choose from. I really like this next one, this Repulsor Executioner, and I'll certainly be adding that to my army, but you've got lots of others that you can choose from, and each is gonna bring something new to the battlefield as well. The flyers are great. So yeah, loads and loads and loads of choice. And I think that's really awesome. So there we go. There's my 25 reasons to collect Space Marines. But I'd love to know what you think about this. Is there anything that you think I should have included in the list? Or maybe you can come up with some reasons why you shouldn't collect Space Marines. Either way, I'd love to hear your thoughts and maybe add what faction you like to play and why you started collecting them. I mostly play skirmish games on the channel. I've tried some of the bigger games and not really taken to them, but I found learning this a little bit at a time and slowly, I'm really getting into it. And so I'm excited to learn a lot more and then share that with you here on the channel as I do that as well. So look out for lots more content coming for Warhammer 40,000. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below. But for now, thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games.